So we just had Halloween and I'm a little bit late to the party. Um, now being the 4th of November, that's almost a week ago. That's unbelievable. Um, but my Halloween display outside with all the decorations and that, and my setup went pretty well. I think I had about 60 people coming past and looking at it, um, actually staying around to experience what I'd put up. <laughs> uh, I was quite proud of it. So this video is about that. So I had some obstacles to overcome with the projectors that I used. So one was for a hologram in the window, and the other one was for um, three pumpkins that I'd laid out. They're real pumpkins, but just with a projected image on them of three funky faces. So for the window display projector, I didn't have a long enough HDMI lead, so I had to order one. And I think I got that the day before Halloween, um, and that was sorted out. Then I couldn't find the projector tripod, so I had to use one of my own, one of the light ones, one of those ones over there. And then it was trying to get the net right across the window because it, it was all creased up and didn't look quite right. So I had to kind of like iron out a little bit. Now the projector with the pumpkins, I wasn't sure whether I was going to be able to put that out because it was forecast rain and it did rain in the morning, but it soon dried out. So I'm really, really pleased that it didn't rain. So the video files I got for the projectors, I got from a company called Atmos FX. You can find them online. I think they've got about a hundred different kinds of things you can do with projectors, you can even use it on your TV, um, and they even do Christmas stuff as well. Right, to start off, I've got this great big figurine that blows up, um, he's inflatable, and he's, he lights up as well. Right, so if I show it this way, so this is the bedroom this side, this is the ensuite this side, he needs to go somewhere there. Right, so that's the strings attached to him. Right, so here's the idea, so you get the ball of wall, attach it to one side of this, and then chuck out the window and then chuck it up the other side so you can then pull it um, and then release him into the... It doesn't matter. I can't explain it. You just have to watch it. All right, I'm attaching the string to the right side this time. Bon voyage. <clears throat> yeah, well, yeah, I kind of forgot to open the other window. <laughs> there we go. Make it wide enough so I can get it in. Wish me luck. That wasn't very good, was it? <laughs> right, so this is knackering. So what the idea is here is to pull this up I am pulling string. Really? The string is actually stuck on a tile. Great. Right, so if I pull on this string, that should start moving. I hope. Yes. Right. There we go. I have no idea if this is going to work. Okay. Hopefully I should be able to reach the black um, piece of string that's attached to him. That's what I'm hoping. I'm just going to tie him off because uh, I don't want him going flying, I really don't. But tie him up. I should be able to reach the other string. He's inflating. Right, so I've just maneuvered him and he's uh, fully blown up now. Right, so he's up. Now it's time for Mr. Scary to go up. Well, the spider's up, but I think the cobwebs need to be spread out a bit more. Right, so I've also got some of this stuff to put up to make it a bit more foreboding. Right, 
Right, so now it's time for some spiders and some cobwebs. It's almost time to get ready for Halloween night. Well, it's been a success so far. There's about 50 to 60 people turning up. I think there's one crowd of about 20 to 30 people in one go. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's worth doing. It really was. To be honest, I was very surprised and very touched by the compliments I got for the display, um, if I can say that about Halloween. Um, loads of people liked it, they loved it. I mainly did it for me, um, but I was very, very surprised at the reactions of the actual display. Um, but I also did it for the kids, because last year, um, the kids couldn't really go out or do anything because of lockdown and there was barely anything going on. So I thought I'd try and make it a bit more fun because you never know, you know, we might go back to square one. Nobody knows. Um, so might as well take that opportunity to have that fun. I've got to say the kids around here have got a very sweet tooth. Um, they didn't take many at a time, but I did go through about 10 multi-packs of candy. Now I am thinking about Christmas. I'm trying to think what I can do. I have been looking at projector mapping. Um, looks quite easy to do, where you kind of like light up the whole house with either one or two projectors and make the house come alive and sync it to music, um, which is originally what I wanted to do, but I was a bit late with the time. So yeah, I'll have to see what I can do for Christmas. Now I had to buy a kit from Atmos FX which was about 150 pounds, and I included the video files as well. Um, the second projector I actually got for, I think it's 23 pounds on eBay, just because it didn't have a remote control, but you could control it on the top of it as well. So it didn't make a jot difference. And I'm actually really pleased that it played all the way through and then repeated them, um, because I was worried that there'd be a menu come up um, when the kids were looking at it. <laughs> So there we go, that's my Halloween, and if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, share it, comment, tell me what you think, and um, if you haven't already, subscribe.